The iPod is dead. As of 2022, Apple has killed the iPod. As once we thought they were gonna make a sequel to this one, make a better version with a full touchscreen getting rid of the little home button, but instead they wouldn't kill the thing. So you're probably wondering, why am I making a video talking about is it still worth it? Because obviously it's not. It has two generations behind on updates. It has a processor from the iPhone 7 and the worst camera on screen imaginable. But what if I told you it's still worth it? And here's why. So you're probably thinking and scratching your head or your butt, I'm not sure. Why is this stupid thing still worth it? Well, that's because this is the best of the worst iPod touches. Now, what I mean by that is that Apple is not making any more iPods. They have killed it after 21 years, which means that this is the last one, but it also means it's the newest one and most up-to-date one. See, here's the thing. iPods classic editions are fine. Anyone can still use them. You can mod them, you can do whatever, because they don't need software updates. They're not a touch UI system iPod touches are pieces of shit when they go out of date because they rely on software to run properly and without updated software apps stop supporting them and become laggy and hard to use. Now this thing runs iOS 15 point dot dot stupid whatever 460 or 69 or whatever right? So basically this is only two generations behind which means it still has some of the features like widgets and stuff and it still feels like an up-to-date Apple experience and pretty much every app I've tested still works with this thing. Now granted it has pretty crappy battery life Though this one is used from 2020, but all the ones you're gonna buy are gonna be used or have a degraded battery. The camera is okay. It's good enough that I use this as my secondary camera for slow motion and stuff, but it's overall just an okay experience. With the screen being okay, the speakers being the worst things on the planet, and you know, just having an overall crappy, okay-ish appearance. Although I really do like how thin in the feel this. It really feels like quality. Now the thing is, I was gonna say, oh, these things are so cheap, you can buy them. Yeah, they're not cheap anymore. They've shot up in price since Apple discontinued them. So they're not like a great, you need a secondary camera option anymore considering how expensive these are to get. But nevertheless, they are still a good value to buy if you want an iPod Touch experience. And I'd recommend that if you're thinking about owning an iPod Touch and getting the experience one, you do it soon. Because these things are only gonna get older and slower and left behind even more than they already are. Right now it's only two generations behind, which means most stuff still works for it and it doesn't feel that out of date. But slowly as time goes on and on, it is gonna get more out of date and feel even worse. To the point where it's like, huh, this is kind of crappy and slow. Like all the other iPod Touches that are crappy and slow. So I would recommend by this year, you should probably buy one of these if you wanna get that experience. Cause right now it's still actually a pretty good experience. It doesn't feel like it's, if I, if I just handed this to somebody, if I just handed this to somebody and was like, here, use it. They probably won't be able to tell that it's that out of date. Now here's the other thing. I gave this to a friend to use as his phone for about six months and he had nothing but compliments for it. He used this as a camera for filming the YouTube videos, link down below, and he used it as his phone, and he said it was good. And I can also testify, because I used this as my phone for a little bit when I broke my old phone. And it worked as long as it has a Wi-Fi connection, it'll make calls and stuff, and it actually wasn't that bad of an experience. Now obviously it is missing features like a, sp a front speaker and microphone here, you know, it only has that crappy microphone, but hey, it does have a headphone jack, which is a good feature. But anyway, so you're probably wondering, huh, last year you tore this to shreds and said, Apple needs to make a new one and it's pretty crappy and you wouldn't recommend it. But that's when they were still making this thing and there was still a little bit of hope that they were gonna make a new one. But since it's discontinued, you have to shift your mind here about the idea of what's considered worth it for these things. Because it's not, is it worth it to buy brand new? It's, is it worth it to use second hand and get one of these even though they're discontinued? And I would say yes, because this is the best of the worst, like I've been saying through this video. It's the only good one that doesn't feel like a crappy experience yet. Now there is a caveat to that. If you load it up with crap, it runs really slow. So I would try to keep these things around 50 gigabytes because they run pretty good there. Uh, over that, they start to run kind of choppy and bad. Uh, and that's why I kind of downed mine because it was running really crappy. But then my friend cleared it out and it runs a whole lot better. And that's also kind of a key point into what changed my mind about this. But either way, I would say overall, it is still worth it and you should definitely buy it while you can. Now that is a caveat that each year and each consecutive update, it is gonna slowly get worse and left behind. But right now, every app I've tested works for it and it doesn't feel that bad. So if you want an iPod Touch, now is the best time to buy it 
while you still can. Because yeah, these are gonna be around forever, but soon they'll be nothing but useless little bricks, like the rest of the iPod Touch line. Huh, they're kind of e-waste actually. But either way, as of this year, it is still worth it, and I'll continue to make videos about it until I deem it not worth it anymore. But until next time, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.